Welcome to our homestead. I'm Carrie, and in today's episode. Ooh, that's working good. There he's climbing out. Whee! He goes in my bucket, takes a dump in the bucket, and then he just magically pops back it? out. Look. Carrie! We're gonna show you how to build the best mouse trap in the world along with some help from Bambi and Katie. You're Bambi. Yeah. And this is Katie. Say hi, Katie. <laughs> Katie's got some ugly little eyes. Well, look That's at them. That's so mean. Okay, Don't Bambi. Let's go build this best mouse trap in the entire world. We've tried all sorts of different mouse traps, like these little cheap wooden ones. We've tried poison. We've tried the little sticky traps where they're kind of horrible and the mouse gets stuck in the trap. These things are horrible because they're hard to set. Like, you sit there and try to set it by getting this piece of metal under this little piece here. And it always falls off. I, I got pretty good at doing this. You gotta let a little pressure on it and then you hope it doesn't snap in your face. And half the time it snaps in your face and it's, you use it one time, if you catch a mouse in it, you could pull the mouse out and then there's blood all over it and you could reuse it if you wanted to. But they only get one mouse at a time. We can catch a bazillion mice in our trap. You can only catch one with this trap and then you gotta remove the mouse and then you gotta reset it. It's also a lot less messy. These things are such a pain in the butt to set. If you got fat fingers like I do, trying to get this little metal piece over here, it's really stressful and then half the time, it ends up snapping in your face. With our trap, it's easy to set. You can use it, um, you can build it with junk you have around your homestead. All right, so, so Katie's gonna build this. Five gallon bucket, that's the one thing you need. The second thing you need is we need some sort of rod to go across here. There's many different things you could use for that. We're gonna use a piece of Romex wire. I will get it started and you can finish it. Drill a hole through the bucket. So we're gonna cut some holes so that that wire can go through each side of the bucket. Bingo! Found our tube and we're gonna need to cut it a little shorter than our bucket. Whee! That's what the mouse is gonna say. Holes are drilled, now I can feed the wire through the tube. You think the muscle slide up there? Now we gotta tighten that wire down. I don't think it's gonna spin. Bingo! Can you see it? Mm -hmm. All right, we're gonna try this method. This is nice and slippery. So the mouse should slip right off it. So Katie, do, you do the honors. All right, we got the bottle in there. We wanna have this wire nice and tight and secure it to itself so it doesn't go anywhere. And then pull it real tight. Ooh, that's working good. Katie, I think we found it. You think a mouse will fall off that thing? Yeah. First we tested this tube and then a can. But they didn't spin as fast as like this. So the water bottle was the clear winner. Yeah. So what's next? To go put the peanut butter on it and then put it in the greenhouse. All right, let's go. What do we do now? Hey, get out of here! Maybe there won't be any mice in here as the chicken should be eating them. All right, let's set this trap up. No, Edward! Go, shoot! Oh, we forgot the ramp! We need to make a little ramp. 
I just use that thingy, the little black metal thing. But right in the middle, it's just like right here. Yeah, maybe all the way around. Think it'll work? Mm, yeah. We've got our trail camera right here. We've got two little ramps. It's still got a really good spin on it, and we've got the peanut butter on it. So what do we do now, Katie? Wait. We wait and see. Let's go. All right, so we tried our mouse trap, the best mouse trap in the world, in our greenhouse, but we didn't catch any mice. But I don't think there were any mice in there. I didn't realize our girls were letting our chickens in there. So I got a bunch of shots on our trail cam of the chickens licking all the peanut butter out. So that was kind of more of a human failure. Then I moved this into our crawl space and I let it sit overnight. And I was expecting to get some mice because we've seen some droppings around, but not too much. But there's no mice in it. But then when I look closer, there's droppings in there, which means there was a mouse in there and somehow he got out. So, I'm gonna take a look at the footage next. See what happened. Seems like a mouse got in there, spent some time in there, left some droppings, and then somehow got himself out, which uh, is kind of impressive. So let's see what happened. Man. 176 photos. Something's going on down there. Oh, that's a big mouse. There's one right there. He's in. He's out. He's in. He's out. He's in. He's out. Man, how did he jump out of that thing? Oh, <laughs> This is rotating, so he's oh he's on a ramp now. He just comes in and out. How do they do that? I need a deeper bucket. I have mouse video. But I thought you said you got one. He goes in my bucket, takes a dump in the bucket, and then he just magically pops back bucket? out. Look, that was in the crawl space. There's poop in it. There's 176 photos of a mouse messing around in the bucket. Look. There he is. He's in the bucket. <laughs> now he's out of the bucket. That's a minute later. How did he get out of that? That's pretty wide. He's just eating all the peanut butter. He just fell off of it. He's back on the bottom. Now he's out again. Hey. Look at him. There he's climbing out. Whee! How fast he's going, bastard. I think he deserves to live if he can get out of that bucket. Need to think of plan B now. Can't believe they're getting out of this thing. Look. Carrie! <laughs> See that, look what's in there. No, I'm not looking anymore. There's no mouse in there, look what's in there. What do you see? Poop? He went all the way in there. And then you just pop back out. How do they get out? They fly. No. They're flying mice. You know what the answer is and what everyone that's watching our YouTube channel right now is going to say. You're you morons. Should've, you should have put water in there. <laughs> if we would have put water in there, they would be in there dead right now. Yeah. Eating our peanut butter, <laughs> laughing at us, and then flying out. And then eating the rest of the peanut butter. <laughs> just in and out, in and out. It wasn't like he just fell in once and got out. He was in and out. Like a hundred times. Because Katie, Katie put a bunch of peanut butter on the bottom because she said, well, if we catch one, he's going to be in there for a couple hours. He's going to need something to eat. Aw, she's such a sweetheart. All right, so Katie's home from school now. Katie, you're in trouble. Do you know why? No. Because? I fed the mouse. Yeah, because here's what's happened. So we put the mouse trap in our crawl space. And I had 173 pictures of a mouse going in the mouse trap and coming out. And I couldn't figure it out, but the only thing I think happened was you put a bunch of peanut butter at the bottom of the bucket because you were worried that the little fellow would get hungry down there after we trapped him. And he'd need something to eat. Well, do you know what happened? 
he went down in the bucket, he ate a big glob of peanut butter, and then that gave him so much energy that he was able to fly out of the bucket. Whee! Over and over and over again, because you gave Stop. him too much peanut butter. So we're going to have to put water in the bucket. What do you think about that? No. No water? I'm going to go out there in the middle of the night and okay, take it Okay, so while you were at school, I built a bigger bucket. Now if they want to get to it, they're going to have to fly really high. Stupid flying mice. Only the best. Only the best for our flying mice. Okay, so it's 24 hours later. I'm gonna go down in the crawl space. We're gonna see if we caught any. I eat a couple more donuts. I'm not gonna be able to fit down this hole. Don't ask me to grab that. Did we get some? Why is it dead? Is it dead? Why is it dead? Uh, we didn't even put water in it. You. All right, we got two mice. You can't be mad at me, Katie. I didn't put water in it. I'm wondering if he just kept going up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down, trying to get out until he killed himself. Well, we caught two mice. We'll have to, we'll have to try again out in the uh, wall tent. But uh, doing this project with my daughter, Katie, and we wanted to try to do a no-kill version. So I went on to test this in our wall tent and unfortunately I didn't get any mice but there weren't any in there looking at the trail cam footage. I think those mice moved on. Uh, in our crawl space we got two and looking at that footage we got those within like the first hour which is amazing and I think those were the only two mice down there because nothing else showed up on the trail cam for 24 hours after that. I think you can catch a lot of mice with this mouse trap in a short period of time. And if you put water in it, you're guaranteed to get them. Um, but you always do have the option of doing the non-kill method. Unfortunately, ours failed, and I think that's because I sprayed a bunch of grease around the side of it, and they must have tried to eat the grease or something like that. Version 2. So in conclusion, I watched another video with a similar style trap, and this guy caught 11 mice in one night. I think we're just pretty lucky here and don't have a ton of mice, but if you do, this is a, a great way to do it. And in this guy's video, he actually bought this roller off of Amazon made for this purpose. So if you don't want to cobble something together with a bottle like we did, check out the link in the description below for this product on Amazon, which is made for a mouse rolling bucket mouse trap. Thanks for watching.